following the resignation of now former Alabama Senate Majority Leader Clay Schofield, a special election has been called to fill North Alabama's District 9 seat. Now that district represents parts of Madison, Marshall and Blount counties. This marks the second special election called within the last two months to fill a vacancy for North Alabama District. The first stemmed from former Alabama District 10 Representative David Cole, who also resigned and is serving jail time after pleading guilty to a voter fraud felony charge. News 19's Dale Burke has more on what voters should know ahead of the special election and joins us in studio. Daryl. Uh, Lauren Gregg, I spoke with Marshall County probate judge Andrea LaCroix who tells me her office is in the early stages of preparing for that special election. And for those in District 9, she's urging them to ensure they are registered to vote. Former Alabama Senator Clay Schofield recently stepped down from his position. Schofield was both the Alabama Senate Majority Leader and District 9 Senator, serving those in parts of Madison, Marshall, and Blount counties. There now will be a special election to fill his seat, and it will be up to voters as to who will be their new senator for that district. The Marshall County Judge of Probate will oversee the special election. Probate Judge Andrea LaCroix says these early stages of preparing for the election are key to ensuring a successful process. The most important things, of course, are making sure that the ballots are correct, making sure the candidates are on there that, are, that have qualified. Also is to um, ensure that, you know, our poll workers are appointed and they're, they're trained and ready to wait on the uh, citizens as they come in to vote. The dates for the District 9 special election are set. The special primary election will be held on January 9th, 2024, followed by a special primary runoff, if necessary, on February 6th, 2024. And the special general election is set for April 23rd, 2024. Probate Judge LaCroix says she's encouraging everyone in District 9 to vote and to make sure they're registered to do so. Make sure that you know you, you do your due diligence and uh, come and vote. It's very important to your district and where you live of the, the decisions that are made. It affects them and their families. And Marshall County Probate Judge Andrea LaCroix says special elections are not budgeted for, and although the election to fill the District 9 seat will impact taxpayers, she says the exact cost of the special election has yet to be determined. Greg? 